Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the French Republic. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we have a new national focus. We're definitely going to be going down for uh, these five free civilian factories. Because right now, consumer goods are so high, we need as many factories as humanly possible. Like, what is our... Non-trade, uh... Construction. 48% of our factories right now are being used for consumer goods. That is terrible. Okay, so the Spanish Republic has asked for our help. The Spanish Republic is in danger. France has always been supported democracy and national and a nationalist victory could mean three fascist neighbors. 5,000 manpower and we will send weapons and men to the Republic in Spain. Germany made a clear war on us. Do it, Germany. I dare you to. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't. I knew you wouldn't. I don't know if it makes any difference here. I mean, we're in Civil War chaos. Everything's basically just bad. But yeah, there we go. Germany is going to be a big baby. Oh, nope, they've declared war on us. I kind of didn't expect that one. Coordinate the war effort. I really didn't expect the Germans to declare war for me trying to help the Nationalist Spain. Okay, then. Um, Hey, Bryn, you want to, like, help me out here? Spanish crisis escalates. The help uh, help sent by Germany to the rebelling nationalists in Spain and the offer help offered by France to the Republican counterparts sparked a short diplomatic crisis with refusal of Britain to support France. Britain, you assholes! Adolf Hitler has declared that France won't throw another country to the Red Doom and has promptly declared war on France. Italy is also likely to help the Germans while France has sent an army to Spain to finish uh, you spelled the nationalist rebellion. Europe is hit again by the war. Well, shit. Britain, you complete... Assholes. We have eight percent stability. Oh shit! <laughs> this is not a good time right now. Um, can I just immediately get this guy in charge? Can I cancel this and go straight to trying to get the British on my side or get the little Entente? I'm really not too sure. Um, partial mobilization. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I know I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, Bloom, but we don't have... We need Britain on our side, I think. Well, Ger okay, well, uh, my thinking right now is there's no way Germany can break through the Maginot Line. Right? Like, they're not... They haven't annexed Austria, they haven't annexed Czechoslovakia, they haven't done anything with Belgium or the Netherlands yet, so... What's going to happen? I have no idea. Coordinate the war efforts. Uh, don't defend Indo Chinese borders. Oh, oh shit, there's actually things here. Lebanon will not defend... Um, don't defend French borders. Don't defend Indo... Um... Yeah, don't defend Indo Chinese borders. That's just silly. So, who's at war? Like, Germany, they're at war with me and not all of my satellite states. In fact, they can actually stay out of the war. I don't think there's a reason for the colonies to actually get involved. Um, I guess we're going to slowly move our way into Germany. I really don't know what else we're going to do here. Other than slowly move some troops into the country. Leadership purges in the Union of... Okay, I, don't, I don't care about the purges. We just declared war in Germany. Germany declared war on us. This is, what, this is not what I was expecting. You immediately are not ready or confident with this plan. If you're your enemy, but they're, they're sad about the Rhine. Which is completely understandable. Like, we are slowly pushing our way into, um... Yeah, we're trying to defend. You know what, purple? Or, uh, yeah, you're purple. You're also going to immediately go to this front line, because defending anything about Belgium anymore does not matter. Because I'm pretty sure the German AI is not going to, um... Do anything too crazy. 
Actually, Purple, you just spend all of your resources. It's going to be hard to see with all these models here. There we go. You just go up here to the north. Your job is also to push your way to the Rhine. So once we get to the Rhine, everything else maybe will become a little bit easier. Coordinate the war effort. I mean, I don't need to coordinate anything right now. The, uh, the satellite states are not involved in the war whatsoever. You know, don't even, like, attack. I think we're just going to try to group up. Figure out what the hell we're actually doing. Like, if these guys dug in, like, how well? They have... Their defense is insane. Holy hell. Okay. Okay, so we have research slots available. Well, I guess now we're just going to focus completely on trying to get um, our military up to snuff. How much manpower do the Germans have? They have about 1.5 million, probably. Which, as you can guess, is significantly higher than ours. Four more days and we'll actually eventually be able to get some more political power back. Is this province empty? No. They're moving artillery unit through. But you're not feeling confident with this attack. Now we're afraid of the superior enemy. Because the entire German army is just going onto our borders, I assume. We don't know what the Italians are going to do. The Spanish Republic is definitely, like, going to die. But if we can somehow get Germany to fight a multiple front war, which I don't know how we're going to get them to do that. Attention. Well, let's enter, you know, pure 100% phony war um, rhetoric here. Also, I just realized that we don't even have our boats doing anything. But also, I don't have that much fuel. No, you guys are here. Yeah, just have the the English Channel be completely secured by French ships. Because the English Channel, I think, is secure. Germany will kind of be starved for resources. I mean, they can get them through the North Sea. But I'm hoping if we get Britain on our side, that's not going to be a huge deal. But we also need uh, supplies from... We need oil. We're still not having enough. We don't need 17 units of oil. That might be a bit much. We only have 63 days of oil. Brynn, give me more oil too. You're trading with the Germans? Okay, we are... Base gain, daily gain of 1.8. We're spending 2 point... We're spending a lot more than that. 2.2, 2.4. I just don't want to be in the negatives. Okay, so now we're positive for that. But how many factories are we trading away? Like... Um... A lot? Seven... seven we're, we're trading at 14 factories just so we don't run out of fuel for the war effort. Which is terribly just depressing. We have a 40% penalty to everything. Where's my Air Force? All of you are supporting this army now. Everybody up here fighting against a German aircraft. Defend this area. Try to starve Germany from some sort of supplies. Like, we should be able to defend. We have a, okay, so we have a negative 62% modifier. Why is it so bad? Planning speed, protected by the Maginot line. God damn it. Supply consumption's terrible. Max planning, entrenchment speed, division attrition. Pre-World War One infantry doctrines. We basically can't entrench ourselves. Supply grace in 72 hours. 
Okay, three more days, we'll actually get some political power back. Apparently, we can't go below zero, so that's at least some a, a good thing to note. If we let the Germans... <laughs> we've lost 4,000 men to the Germans. 590. They've lost, like, nobody. They're killing more Frenchmen than we, uh, we're killing Germans, which is probably not the best uh, thing here. I don't... Okay, ignore the coordinator for the war effort for now. Military parade. Probably not in our best interest at the moment. We're actually still losing points. Inflation, disjointed government. Because we're trying to support this dude. We got 20 days until he's been supported. We'll have a change in government. That's fine. Don't worry about that. I'm just hoping that maybe like um the Austrians will say no to a referendum if Germany's in the middle of a war with us. That's my best guess. I'm also again I'm just hoping that uh the Italians say the hell out of this war. You're in low supply. You know, go. Go somewhere else then, where there actually is supply. There's no point in us taking attrition on troops for no reason. Uh, they're bombing northern France. Kind of just a dick move, I would say. They have a plus. They have a plus eighteen percent. We have a negative forty percent. They're attacking basically with everything they have. Yeah, let's retreat back to the Maginot line. Probably, um, yeah, no, the Germans are actually just kicking our ass. Holy hell. Okay, do not attack. No attacking, no attacking, no attacking. I don't know who's attacking, but please stop it. Defend Maginot. We've taken 10 times the casualties as the Germans. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not a great look. I mean, they outnumber us, too. Who allowed the Germans to do this? I, dema I demanded an answer. Maybe maybe we should have stopped them once they were, um... Clearly... Um... Was it, was it, you know, once they got past the, the Rhine, we should have attacked. But I don't think the British would have supported us. The goddamn British. Daily gain. Consumptively still going up. These don't matter anymore. We only have four factories because we're trading 15 of them away. Oh, goddamn, our industry is shit. And they're bombing our airfields and our civilian factories. Wonderful. Oh, Germany, Germany, Germany. How have they, like, gotten the better of us so goddamn quickly? Where's my fighters? Because right now, they're in northern France. Are you my fighter class? Combine. Please go to northern France. And try, for the love of God, to beat... The German bombers, so they no longer bomb northern France. That would be extremely swell of you to do. But they're probably getting supplies from the north. I mean, does Germany... What resources does Germany actually have within it? It's got a little bit of oil. It's got a decent amount of steel. It's got a decent amount of aluminum. The problem for us right now is that Germany doesn't need to import oil like we do. Like, we... I just realized, do any of my vassal states have oil? Could I be importing oil from my own satellites? Um... The answer is surprisingly no. And I don't think anybody would trade this for us for cheaper. So now we're basically going to do, you know, a nice little phony war at the Maginot line. Just stittering at each other. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, now they just moved on the boot to bomb Central France. The AI... Stop bombing me, please. For the love of God, please stop bombing me. Um, so what I need right now is... What do I need? I need land doctrines, but... 
I can spend 100 points. I mean, spending 25 will get it, like, to a reasonable 190 days. Yeah, but then they've just gone immediately back to Northern France. The AI is actually, like, being too clever here for uh, my own good. Are these the same kind of uh, planes? These are. So combine those ones. There we go. The Germans keep trying to be a little bit uh, sneaky here. At least here, we um, the fort is completely destroying them. Like, Germany cannot get past the Maginot. Like, I don't see a way that they could. Okay, we supported Dahlier. Britain, please join my faction. The Radical Party is now in charge? The Liberals are the Radical Party? I don't understand this. Okay. We've had a nice little government change. You know, confidence in the old guy is gone. We just need to make sure the British side with us. As disappointing as that is. We need to go to, like, more economy, like, tomorrow. Or, like, yesterday. That's 275. So we gotta go from here to partial to war economy. We can maybe nationalize more industries. Construction speed goes up. The but corruption also goes up. Well, since the, the corruption decreased negative 16%, I don't know if that means it's going up or if it's going down. It's really not the clearest thing in the world. Okay, purple, you can actually be on the entire front again. That's fine. The Germans shouldn't break through Maginot. At least I don't imagine that they would. Please just shoot down their planes. Also, be on normal operations. What are you? Are you bombers? You're medium bombers, but... You're close air support. You combine. And just support these guys. Close air support. Support our troops. Again, you just be on normal operations. There's no reason for you to sacrifice yourselves. Our entire army is on this front line. But it's like, civilians at 6% right now. It's at 6%. 6 and war support is bad. Basically, everything at the moment is just kind of shitty. We're still running out of oil. We still don't have all the things we need. How many guns? We're still 20,000 rifles short. Which is just uh, embarrassing. You know, I'm going to cancel some of these other lower class infantry. And clearly, we don't have the infantry equipment to support them. Italy so far has stayed out of the conflict. The Spanish Republic is going to lose still even with our support all it's done is made things worse for us but i think this is going to be a good time to end this episode thanks for watching my anthem if you enjoyed my thumbs up not enjoy thumbs down once more subscribe and goodbye